Spring is here again and to celebrate it we're going to learn how to make this big display which will involve the participation of the whole class. This project is called The Sunflowers and is obviously inspired on the famous painting by Vincent van Gogh. Now let's move on to the different stages that we have followed. Using silk paper, make as many balls as possible. These will be the seeds. Then draw shapes of hands and cut them out using colorful sheets of paper. Orange, yellow and brown could be suitable choices. This will act like petals. Now it's time for the central part of the flower. With the help of a round shape, trace a couple of circles. The first one will be the back. As it will give support and stability to the flower, choose a hard surface like a piece of cardboard box. The second one can be ordinary yellow or orange cardboard. Cut both shapes out. Stick the hand shapes onto the cardboard. To turn the figure harder and more resistant, stick the cardboard box circle at the back. Stick the paper balls onto the sunflower. Once this is done, spread a mixture of glue and a little of water over the seeds. This will harden the paper balls and will make them look brighter after they dry up. Draw and cut the shape of a large face. Make a suitable giant background with blue and green wallpaper. After that, stick the vase onto the background. Draw and cut out the stems. Place both the stems and flowers in different positions until you find the best arrangement. Once you do it, you can stick all the stuff onto the wallpaper. This is the perfect activity to be carried out by the whole group because all students will have to participate and share responsibilities. For example, some of them are going to be in charge of making the balls, some of them are going to be in charge of uh, drawing the shapes and cutting them out, etc. But the roles are not fixed and students can swap them whenever they need it. I really recommend this activity because it fosters participation and collaboration. Furthermore, the final product could be used as a display for the classroom. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.